Jessica Radmilovic was a competitive gymnast in high school and had plans of going to college on a pole vaulting scholarship. But at the age of 16, while snowboarding, she took a jump, had a bad landing, and everything changed. She broke her back and is now confined to a wheelchair. But that never dampened her spirit or slowed her down. During her recovery, she found wheelchair basketball, and she was soon recruited to the University of Arizona, where she played for the wheelchair basketball team and went on to play on the USA National Women's Wheelchair Basketball Team. She later became a triple gold medalist and holds two world records in disabled water skiing. She's currently the recreational therapist in the Spinal Cord Injury, or SCI, Center at the VA in Palo Alto. She provides services to 26 SCI veteran inpatients. She works with the vets to help reintegrate them into the community and daily life after injury. So I broke my back snowboarding. I was 16, took a jump gone bad, fell, and that was that. Um, didn't really have time. I went to rehab for only about three and a half weeks. So I was a junior in high school. I was only gone from school for five weeks total. So <laughs> and did it ever come back and just super depress you? Not really, no, because life just kind of moved forward. And I just got involved into adaptive sports right away. And that was just a huge experience for me. So you also went to a basketball camp. Mm -hmm. And I understand that was, if not life-changing, huge. Yeah, so that was actually, I think, my first trip after becoming disabled and using a wheelchair by myself. I was um, actually going into my freshman year of college, and my mom signed me up for this camp I really didn't want to go to at first <laughs> in Illinois at the wheelchair basketball um, program that they have there. But I went, and that was really the first time that I was able to connect with other young people with uh, disabilities. Um, spinal cord, spinal bifida, amputations, all that kind of thing. And so I really discovered that community that I wasn't alone and I was able to move forward and do all these different things. So I was able to get that kind of peer connection and education from them and their life experiences and be able to grow from that. But what is recreation therapy? Mm -hmm. So recreation therapy, probably the best job on the planet. Um, <laughs> We work along, at least in a rehab setting, clinical settings, we work alongside an interdisciplinary team. So that means we're working with physical therapists, occupational therapists, psychology, the physicians, the whole team gets together because we're working on the same similar goals for that veteran. But the uniqueness about recreation therapy is that we don't just address the physical issues. So I work on spinal cord injury unit. I'm not just looking at the spinal cord injury as that. I'm looking at the person as a whole. So I get to address the social, emotional, physical, cognitive, and spiritual aspects of that person and use recreation activities such as adaptive sports or yoga, creative arts, things like that um, to help facilitate growth and change and them meeting their rehab goals in all of those areas. Uh, my experience is from being disabled and kind of living an active lifestyle as through recreation therapy essentially. Um, gives me the, the, the background to connect with my patients mm -hmm. as well, my vet, the veterans that I work with. Mm -hmm. um, I have that kind of in with them where they can't really say no to me. They can't say, you don't understand, you don't know what you're talking about because I do. And they trust me. And so they're able to have real conversations and um, get really down to the nitty gritty type of personal things that they might not be able to ask other people. One of the challenges with my job is buy-in from the, from the veterans. They get that pushback in the initial rehab from veterans or patients that don't want to participate in the recreation therapy program. But once they do, and if they continue that, they always come back and thank me. Whether it's a year later, five years later, um, they, they come back and that's probably one of my favorite parts of my job is getting, because we get to see these veterans progress year by year, I love watching that growth and being part of that. And then also getting that kind of gratification from them saying, if it weren't for you and your rec therapy program, I would not be this person. There's no dull moment. Um, I love 
being able to accommodate the specific needs of an individual person based on what they want to do and get out of it. And sometimes it's challenging. I might not know the answer, so I am always learning and I'm always doing new things. And so it's just, it's really unique and fun. You have a choice. You can either be happy or sad and whatever path you take, that's on you. So I chose, I chose the happy path.